Well, three minutes, 20 seconds into overtime, the Hartford Hawks find a way to win. Giovanni Sims tallying his seventh goal of the season. Coach, took you over 200 minutes to get a goal against Binghamton this year. How big was that goal right then? Well, I mean, obviously it's a huge goal because it sends us to the next round. It sends us to the semifinal up in New Hampshire. But, I mean, it was just huge because Binghamton did a great job in the two games they were here, um, not conceding any goals, putting us a lot under a lot of pressure in our de in our attacking end, their defensive end. And we, and we were hard. We couldn't break them down. It was hard. We had our chances, hit the post again, hit the crossbar, but couldn't find a way in. And they just did a great job defensively. So, obviously, it's a huge relief. You know, you don't want to go to penalty kicks if you don't have to. And, and we weren't sure you know we we're gonna get that goal throughout the second half and overtime you could tell that you guys were attacking a little more but it seemed like Binghamton wanted to come out and attack in that second half but really you guys were the ones pushing the pace in that second half can you talk about what you what you said at halftime to get your guys going well we wanted we just wanted the guys to play a little faster try and move the ball a little quicker I thought Binghamton did a good job coming out we got a good start to the second half hitting the crossbar and then I thought they did a pretty good job getting a little you know foothold in the game there for a little while and, and then I thought the last 20 25 minutes we really picked up the tempo pinned them in not only in our half in their half but in the attacking third and created a lot of good chances we just couldn't finish so it was a great goal we got in the end there um, Giovanni had a chance just before that he probably could have done a little better with but he, he redeemed himself pretty well finishing a, a great one from outside the 18. You've got New Hampshire coming up on Wednesday semi-final matchup you've won in the semi-finals on the road before what are you looking to do with the team leading up to that game, and what kind of a team is New Hampshire? Well, New Hampshire, I mean, obviously they've had a great season to get the number two seed. Um, they beat us 2 nothing when we were up there last time, so we know it's going to be tough. Um, they're 7-0 and at home this year or something like that, so they're doing really well at home. So it'll be a tough environment. It'll be a tough place for us to go, but we're, we're excited to get another chance. You know, Binghamton's a team we tied during the year, so we're, like, happy to play these guys um, and get another chance at it. And now New Hampshire's a team who beat us, so, you know, we're looking forward to that challenge to see if we can be a little better this time than we were last time but you know we know it's going to be tough we know it'll be a difficult game they're big they're physical they're strong but they play some good soccer too they're they're moving the ball really well and they've got a couple first team uh, selections I think three guys were first team a, a one or two second team so it'll be a, a battle for us and we know it'll be tough well the Hawks made good on their second chance against the Binghamton Bearcats thanks in part to Giovanni Sims tallying his seventh goal of the season three minutes into overtime and now they get that second chance against New Hampshire coming up on Wednesday night